On day two at Imagination Station, we're diving into the Bible point. God is a friend who loves. To make that point, we'll experiment with different modes of water transportation, connecting that to the power of God's love. Let's start with the scuba divers. This simple experiment is a big wow. We started with an Aquafina bottle of water and removed the label. Place a ketchup packet in the bottle of water. We used McDonald's ketchup packets. Then add water to fill the bottle completely to the rim. Screw the lid back on tightly. You'll make one scuba diver for every crew in a rotation. So if you have three crews in a rotation at once, make three of these. The ketchup packet should be floating. Imagine this ketchup packet is a scuba diver. Squeeze the bottle in the middle to make the scuba diver dive. Scuba divers can't explore underwater for too long. They have to come back up. Stop squeezing the bottle and watch the scuba diver float again. Kids will pass these around their crew, taking turns making the divers dive. It's a fun connection to how God created everything with just what it needed to live where it needs to live. Scuba divers need special equipment to dive into the ocean because God made humans to live on Earth. God showed His love by making everything so carefully and with a special purpose. Here's a tip. Some ketchup packets float better than others, depending on how much air is sealed in them. So make sure you try them out before VBS. If your ketchup packets aren't floating, just add salt to the water until the packets float. Your second experiment on day two really gets imaginations fired up. Scuba diving is just one way to explore the ocean. If you want to go farther, you'd need to take a boat. For this experiment, you'll prep two things for each crew in a rotation. Don't worry, it's easy. First, put a few inches of water in a lasagna pan. Set the pan on a tray for easier transportation when you clean up. Set the trays and pans on tables around the room so each crew can access one later. Be sure the pans aren't set out where kids will be sitting. Kids love water. We found it was smarter to have crews move to the water. We learned the hard way at our field test when we tried carrying trays with water-filled pans to each crew. There was a lot of splishing and splashing. Oops. Next, squirt a little dish soap into a paper cup for each crew in a rotation. We used Dawn soap. Set one of these cups next to each lasagna pan. Now we're ready to move the boat. Crews will get out the strip of rowboat racers included in their crew teaching kits and punch out the boats. Do you think soap can make these boats go? Let's try it and find out. Crew leaders will be the ones to do this part of the experiment. Tell kids to gather around so they can see their crew's pan of water, but not to touch it. At our field test, we ask kids to keep their hands glued to their sides. Place a boat near one edge of the pan with the point facing out. Dip a cotton swab into the dish soap, then quickly dab it in the triangle of the boat. The boat will move across the water. Wow, look how far that soap powered the boat. You can use permanent markers to make a line on the side of the pan that indicates just how far that boat went with one tiny drop of soap. Why do you think the soap worked to make the boats go? Kids had plenty of ideas to share during the debrief. Welcome lots of responses, encouraging kids to come up with a good list of guesses. This is powerful learning, when we get our brains thinking, wondering, and making connections. You'll ask crew leaders to put another dab of soap in the triangle of their boats. This time, nothing should happen. Be sure to give your crew leaders the heads up before they come to your station. Otherwise, they may try to push the boats with the cotton swab, thinking they messed up or the experiment failed. But it didn't. The reason the soap worked the first time is that water has something called surface tension. The soap breaks the surface tension, making the boat move. But once that surface tension is broken, 
the soap can't power the boat again. If you wanted another chance to power your boat this way, you'd have to dump out the water in your tray, rinse it out so there's not a speck of soap left, dry it, and then refill it with fresh water. God is a friend who loves. God doesn't just give us one chance. He loves us so much that He forgives us. That means God gives us lots of chances. So I'm going to give you a chance to power your boats a different way. Crew leaders will give each person a boat booster and a rowboat racer to each child. Now, here's one tip we learned at our field test. We used individually wrapped straws thinking they'd be more sanitary. Instead, we ended up with kids blowing and throwing straw wrappers everywhere. Oh no! The paper boat boosters in your crew teaching kit are eco-friendly and won't create additional distractions or mess. Kids will experiment to see if one breath of air will work better than soap, worse, or the same. Let's try it. Now, let's think about God's love. How did this experiment demonstrate something about God's love? What kinds of things can God's love empower us to do? God's love might empower you to go show kindness to someone who looks lonely. Or maybe God's love would push us towards someone who needs encouragement. God is a friend who loves. And there you have it. Two amazing interactive experiments that help kids connect to powerful Bible truths.